Right everyone, we're Fletcher here. Right, today's build is going to be a flail, or what I incorrectly call a ball mace, uh, or a ball chain mace, but it's really called a flail. So the head of the flail will be this large brass door handle. At a later date I may fill this up with lead as well, but I can't actually do that yet. So there's the head. This piece of tube will go over it to make this part look a bit better. We've got a chain here with a bolt. The handle will be made out of this old bit of door. And then I just need a piece of steel um, for connecting the chain to this, which I'll find later. And that's got that to do. So, first thing we'll do is start working on the head connecting the chain. <coughs> right. So the idea will be that this bolt will hold the chain on with a washer. I may put quite a big washer on so I can bend it over. And then we'll have a tube coming up so that the chain will then come out of the middle of it. So it won't look like that because that's quite sort of ugly looking. The way I'll have it, all of that will be covered up with a tube and then you'll just see the chain coming out. So, to mount this tube onto here, what I'm going to do is place it on. Work out where the second, or it would be this one here, this first link here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, is. Drill a hole through, put a pin through. And then I can tighten the bolt down, hopefully, and I'll tighten that down onto here. So the head is on now, bolted on. So it's bolted on this way and bolted into the head and I've also put some self damping screws in here and here for extra strength as well. Um, I don't know if I'm going to just leave that or I may put some tape just around this bit to cover these up, black tape. Leave this exposed and polish it up. This I'll definitely polish up. So that's the chain. Not sure if I'll leave the chain that length. Uh, that I can change at any time. So now I just need to get the handle made now. Right, so at a later date I may get a proper band. I was going to use this but it won't work. So 
I'm going to put a metal cap on the tip and then hold the chain on with this eye hook or whatever you want to call them and this will this collar will prevent it splitting and that'll be strong enough for what I want but at a later date if I want to add a long collar on a strap I can that'll just give me the edge or I need to whittle it down by doing that so then if I mark the edge how deep it needs to go misplaced my pencil but there so I just need to whittle it down to fit that on now So I'll be putting the eye hook in in a minute. I need to open that up a little bit and get the chain on. Now I'll just drill a little hole, pilot hole, screw that in, and then somewhere here we'll have to do two little holes to um, put some screws in to hold that on. Right, what I will do with this, where this is the opening here, I'm going to keep tightening this till it starts to bury the edge of the bit into the wood. So it's almost countersinking into it. I'll show you that in a second. And that will prevent that from opening. Right, that will probably do it. I don't want to overdo it. But if you look there now, that that actual bit is in the wood almost so that won't open now I don't think it would ever open anyway but uh, I've got a feeling that chain is a bit too long but, uh, we'll see actually yeah I'm gonna change that I'm gonna cut the chain down all right so that's the chain cut down a bit shorter now that's much better the end is on so I just need to drill the holes through there put a couple of little screws I won't bother feel myself do that and then I'll be finishing the handle so that'll just be sanding and then staining it basically and then I'll polish up these ends probably just these bits I'll probably just wire brush them so they get a nice brush steel effect but this I'll polish up Right, so I've had to finish this one indoors, so this is it done now, shorter chain, you saw me cut that down anyway, nice heavy head, 
I'll show you some close up decent pictures uh, after this. So there's the handle, it's got a nice little sort of knob on the end to stop your hand coming off. Steel reinforcing bits here, the chain. I've polished up the top, pretty much mirror finish, nearly mirror finish. You can see yourself in it. And I put, I took that other tape off and put some electrical tape around there and then some aluminium tape. So it actually looks a bit better like that. I didn't really like that other tape. It stood up too much. So, so yeah, there it is. That's probably only three, four hours. Plenty of other ways you can make these. But this was the method I used today with the tools I had. I haven't got time to do a test today. So in the next video, I'll do a test of this. It'll be quite interesting to see what this sort of hits like. Uh, so I'm not going to go too mad in here. Uh, got any ideas what you'd like me to test it on? I could, I'll, you know, I'll obviously do the water bottles. Um, but yeah, have a think of some stuff I could test this on in the next video. Maybe a can as well. Uh, don't go too mad with the ideas because it's going to have to be something I've already got. So think of something that you think I might have. And I could do some tests on it then. Because yeah, it would be interesting to see what kind of damage this would do. Eventually I suppose I could do some um, rib tests with Zombut. Whacking around the ribs with it, with some body armour on, see if that would uh, break your ribs or not. And again, later on I can actually fill the top of this, fill this head with lead. It's quite heavy anyway, being brass. So yeah, there it is. I hope you enjoyed this video of making the flail, or uh, incorrectly called a ball mace, ball chain mace. Uh, it's a flail really. Um, yeah. There it is. Right, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you later. Before you leave, if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can now via Patreon or by shopping at Amazon.com and Gearburst. There's more info below if you need that. Remember, if you want to get full notifications for this channel, click the bell. And uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.